Yo, it's G Easy, and you're listening to RadioKingOnline.com. What's going on, people? You're tuned into Radio King Online. I'm your host, Brother Kuda Love. Today, we're joined by a very special guest, the Bay Area's very own G Easy. What's happening, G Easy? I'm out here, man. What's good? All good, all good. Performed at Wireless this past weekend. How was yeah. that whole experience for you? It's crazy, man. It's just, the world is a big place, man. And that's what I'm just constantly reminded of. It's like, I'm out here on stage in London and yeah. in, in Birmingham. And I'm so many miles away from where this music was made. Yeah. That, or where this, you know what I mean? Where I come from, that it's just crazy, like, the power of word of mouth and the power of the internet. You know, that just music can take me and the homies like overseas and there's a crazy energy from this huge crowd in london responding to my music it's just a blessing i just feel thankful to be here yeah your buzz is definitely penetrating you have of course got your debut album these things happen yeah coming out july 27th july, over here. july 21st in the uk yeah it just came out in the states but july 21st in the uk i'm excited yeah in America, though, <laughs> it's, it's been out for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, no, it came out. Uh, it came out June twenty third in the yeah. states, but um, yeah, no, I, it had a crazy. It debuted the number one rap album in the country, yeah, and that's just you know that's crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? How do you feel like the whole response has been from the fans, critics, all of that? How, it's been feel? positive, man. I mean, I worked really hard on this album. I spent a lot of time on it. You know, it, this wasn't something like, oh, the iron's hot, let's strike and just throw this out here. Yeah, it's like I think I would wait as long as I needed to wait to get this right. You know, and I feel like, especially in today's world, bro, everyone's everyone's making music. Everyone's yeah. a rapper. Everyone's a producer. Everyone, you know. So what makes you different? Why should I care? You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, I had the momentum built up. I had paid my dues. I had been on a million tours, yeah. bunch of free mixtapes, music videos. People were watching. All right, okay, well, what can he do? You know what I mean? Yeah. I, and I wanted this album, you know, to be like, oh, yeah, all right, he was right. And make a big statement, you know. And do you feel you did that? Did you tell the story you wanted to tell with the album? I, yeah, man. I told the stories I wanted to tell, and I think those first week numbers surprised people. They're like, all right, well, yeah, you were for real. Cool. Let's let's talk criticism, though. Mm -hmm. um, most of the feedback has been positive. Yeah. Uh, the negative feedback I could find from the U.S. bloggers is like, it feels like a white oh, Drake. it sounds like Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a white Drake. I'm a Drake, huge Drake like... fan, I'm, you know. But what do you Drake say to that kind Kanye of criticism? Drake and are some of my favorites. You know, I mean, everybody, here's the thing. You, you take what you're influenced by and what inspires you. You know, life experiences, you know, other, you know, other creatives. And you all kind of, you, you pile in your influences and you mix all that up. You know, you take yeah. everything you've seen in the world in your lifetime and your, you know, these stories you have to tell and the music that you're into. You stir all that up, you know, and if you're great, you put out something special and new out of yeah. it because everybody's inspired by everything you know what i mean yeah. it's like you can't just like no one lives in a cave and just never hears any anything else and just comes up with brilliance you know it's it's like a product of what you you know and i mean the output is me at the end of the day yeah. you know i'm not i'm not telling anybody else's story besides mine you know see, i can only come from my voice you know what i'm saying mm. so you make yeah. no apologies for anyone thinking no that. no apologies at all my music <laughs> is my music my album is my album but i have no shame in telling you like i'm a huge kanye fan i'm a yeah. huge drake fan lil wayne you know what i mean jay-z eminem nas like Tribe Called Quest. like i like worship these guys i'm like huge fans you know but it's like i i am like i'm inspired by all of them and i look yeah. up to all of them and i create me at the end of the day yeah you know that's what's up you gotta do your own thing uh in terms of like the album obviously most most of the success from it is kind of sprung up from the success of i mean it the single yeah. rick ross jumped on a remix <clears throat> how do you feel about that how did that whole I would think, come out I, I think from an industry perspective it, it would look that way like oh he's got like a single that's popping or something but it really it's, it's not like it's not big as far as singles go i mean you need singles because you know but I would say the album did well because it's like this has been ten years in the making, you know. This is like I'm, I, you know, I just finished like my sixth tour. I just like put, you know what I mean. I, I didn't put out like ten mixtapes, you know what I mean. Like this didn't come out of nowhere. It only looks like it came out of nowhere. It only looks like a big song blew up, and it's like, you know, 
that's that's it takes putting all the pieces to the puzzle and and paying all those dudes for so many years and just waiting patiently for the time to be like all right now I need you and and that's what I said to the fans who like have been on this journey with me for you know what I mean now I need your support let's go shock the world and you know make you know what I mean like yeah. come out of nowhere with this and then they'll be like okay it was for real yeah for real and, like, you have been grinding for a long time but this is kind of your introduction to like but it European is no Indians, yeah, yeah yeah it totally yeah. is my introduction and that's the whole thing like I, I, I totally feel this is my debut album yeah. I feel like everything prior was practice you know yeah. the only difference is like you know technology and the internet your practice years are documented you know what exactly. I mean? And it took my practice years. It took the free mixtapes and, you know, like fine-tuning my craft and all that to get better, to gain the audience, to build the following and all that. But this was the moment we were waiting for. Yo, it's G-Eazy and you're listening to Radio King Online. Yeah, we obviously welcome, like, the likes of yourself, your talent. I, I think, like, in terms of wireless, like, you would have seen a lot of American artists on the bill. Yeah. And it's like a movement we definitely welcome, like, all of you guys coming through... And yeah. you've got a lot of respect for what we do over here as well, so yeah, yeah. kind of respect that. Oh, it's mutual. Now, I've got to ask you about a certain artist, came up with him, collab- done collaborations with him, mm-hmm. artist by the name of Hoodie Allen, mm-hmm. and lately there have been some kind of trading shots. What's the deal? Because <laughs> you've been friends before. I, I don't, don't understand know. what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. No? <laughs> came out of nowhere. No? no yeah. ca- well, I mean, I don't care. I, <laughs> yeah. It was bizarre. I just... Um, I heard it. I went about my day. I was I, that was when I was out here for the first time. Yeah. And um, man, I was just like, yo, my album drops in seven days. I'm in Europe right now because of music. I'm yeah. I'm too like I'm too hyped about all this to get like you know, get my panties in a bunch and worry about anything like that. You know, I was chilling. So G Easy would not be replying to Hoodie Allen or Nah, no. man. Nah, that'd be corny. Okay. Nah. Cool. cool. G Easy, the album. These things happen. These, these Things Happen is out on July the 21st, you said, right? Yeah, July 21st in the UK, These Things Happen will be available here, the hard copy and the digital and all that. You know, I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to take over the world with yeah. this one. I'm not shy, you know? Yeah, we're definitely feeling GEZ over here. What what message would you give to the UK audience to just kind of introduce yourself? Like, GEZ's here, you headline XOYO, you've yeah. done a couple shows here. But what's, yeah. what's that message that you're going to stamp your authority on the game over here. I'm a badass motherfucker. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not like anybody else, man. I don't look like nobody else. I don't, you know, I'm just me. That's all I can be, man. And I'm just, you know, I'm excited to just, you know, that, that, that there's some support over here that people are paying attention to what I'm doing and I can't wait to keep coming back and just keep building over here. You know, I'm a big fan of, you know, everything going on over here and, you know, I'm just excited. Yeah. That's what's up. You hate it. You heard it here on Radio King TV. G Easy next to blow. July twenty first. These <laughs> things happen. Make sure you get that album and support good music. Yeah. Peace. Yo, it's G Easy, and you're listening to RadioKingOnline.com. <laughs>